um, that uh, given Russian Federation's unprovoked and unjustified attack on Ukraine, the Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs and International Development report to the House of Commons that it A, condemns this unjustified and unprovoked attack, which was ordered by Russian President Vladimir Putin as a clear violation of international law, the UN Charter, and the rights of Ukraine to sovereignty, territorial integrity, freedom, and democracy. B, condemns the illegal recognition by the Russian Federation of the Ukrainian regions of Donetsk and Luhansk as so-called independent states, and the 2014 invasion of Ukraine by the Russian Federation and their illegal annexation of Crimea. C, calls upon the Russian Federation to immediately end the targeting of civilian infrastructure, including hospitals and schools. D, calls upon the Government of Canada and all parties in the House of Commons to support, one, the continued imposition of severe economic penalties, including sanctions targeting President Putin's inner circle, including Russian oligarchs and those who have supported this egregious violation of international law, two, the provision of support to the, U to the government of Ukraine, the Ukrainian armed forces, and the provision of humanitarian aid to the people of Ukraine, Three, the issuing of an order of general application directing the CRTC to a new broadcasting policy that would remove state-controlled broadcasters that spread disinformation and propaganda from the CRTC's list of non-Canadian programming services and stations authorized for distribution, effectively removing Russia today from Canadian airwaves, and four, the removal of Russia from the SWIFT payment system, a critical part of the global financial system, an action which must be pursued in collaboration with international partners. And finally, E stands unwavering and united in our solidarity with the people of Ukraine. That it consists um, of the motion that, that we would suggest uh, move forward, hopefully on a unanimous basis on behalf of this committee, Mr. Chair.